3D printers allow you to take your three-dimensional designs and turn them into actual 3D objects. Uh, this technology isn't brand new, but it is brand new for consumers and for our labs at Consumer Reports. I'm here with Frank and Andrew who have been testing these for the last couple months. And basically you could make anything with these, right? That's true. It's really exciting technology that allows a user to be creative and anything you could come up with on the computer, you could potentially print. We picked three printers to kind of cover the market and one of the cheapest solutions for 3D printing today is the solid doodle. It's about $800 uh, retail. So what's nice about this is it's a simple design, it's easy to fix, and it has given quite a bit of reliable prints. Um, as you can see, when we look at the other printers, it's not as refined, but still did a good job for the, for the price point. And now we have this one. This one looks like it's probably more expensive. <laughs> yes, this is one of the nicer printers on the market. It's called the MakerBot Replicator 2X. Uh, MakerBot is uh, pretty popular in the 3D printing world. And what's nice about this is it has two print heads and you can print uh, two different colors at one time, which makes you have some creativity in your prints. And the third printer is from 3D Systems. It's called Cubex. Um, this is around $2,600 and it is also available with two or actually three print heads. Obviously the price increases with the more print heads, but it is a, an option for the uh, customer. The process is that the filament travels through this heated print head you see right here and lays down the plastic in small layers. What is it made out of exactly? Um, this was printed in uh, ABS plastic, the same type of plastic Legos are made out of. So who are these 3D printers for right now? I could see educational institutions uh, using this, um, maybe engineering students and also entrepreneurs. I think it'd be a good product to um, kind of prototype some of their product ideas before it goes uh, mainstream. And as it gets more refined, we're hoping to see it uh, kind of move into the more mainstream consumer market, but I think we're a year or two away from that. Great, so it's more of a tech-savvy, early adapter kind of person at this point. Definitely. Great, thank you so much. Thank you, Teresa.